Hello again. Thanks for joining me. I thought of some stories to share today. One of them, I would really like y'all to comment. Let me know what y'all think of this. Forever with movies and stuff. Me and my dad and sometimes my brother would even get involved. We'd be watching a movie and see somebody in the movie and be like, that's so-and-so from the Southern movie. And somebody would say, no, it's not. And then we would bet. Usually it's like, I bet you $10 that that's so-and-so from so-and-so. So, you know, he had lost money saying that Sharon Stone was in Rocky V when it was um, Brigitte Nielsen. I lost money saying that the dude from Bless the Child and I think Zorro, I thought he was the dude from The Client, like the bad guy. So now anytime I see either of those dudes, I'm like, oh, that's that dude I lost money on. Stuff like that. And, you know, occasionally we bet big bucks. I think I lost $100 on the, on the Bless the Child dude, so... But, you know, he's also a bit that lost it. So, you know, it was always back and forth. I think I lost thinking at some point that Sean Penn was in Lost Boys when it's Alex Winter, stuff like that. But on this bet, I got paid up. If I bet, I pay up. But I just want to see what y'all think. My dad was watching a boxing documentary and it was about Muhammad Ali. That's what everybody knows him by, Muhammad Ali, Muhammad Ali. Of course, if you know anything about him, you do know the little bit of trivia that he was born Cassius Clay, changed his name to Muhammad Ali when he converted to Muslim religion, which is why he didn't fight in the Vietnam War and why he went to jail and lost his title for a while. There you go, there's a little bit of history lesson for you. Anyway, he's watching a documentary about Muhammad Ali and it shows footage from a fight between Muhammad Ali. I don't care, it's Muhammad Ali. It showed a fight between Muhammad Ali and somebody. Somebody was fighting. I don't know who it was. Just to be kind of smart aleck and, and joke and I go bet you however much money that's Muhammad Ali fighting in that fight and he goes okay I'll take that bet I'm like what? are you crazy? this is a documentary about Muhammad Ali obviously it's Muhammad Ali I, he said I'll take the bet as soon as I shook his hand he grabbed my hand he goes in that fight his name was still Cassius Clay Technically, you know, technically, yeah. And I paid, like I said, I, I pay my bets. But it's the same dude. It's it's still Muhammad Ali, right? Anyway, don't even remember how much we bet, so it's not like it's not like if you all comment, man, that was bogus, I'd get my money back, because I don't even know what we bet it, it was just funny. But, you know, comment, what do you think? Um, dang it, there was another story I was going to tell. I always lose my train of thought. Dang it. What else was I going to tell? There was another story I was going to tell. I'll tell these, maybe the other one will come to my mind. So I told you the story of my brother running me over with the go-kart. And I think I mentioned my cousin, like, the very end of the go-kart's life was when I let my cousin drive it, and she was driving. I was in the passenger seat. We were heading toward a tree. <clears throat> I thought she was going to turn or stop. You know, what normal people do, headed toward a tree in any kind of motorized vehicle. She sped up, hit the tree... And the go-kart never, it never really run, it ran again. So that was the end of the go-kart. But before all that, 
this go-kart was very touchy. Like, if you weren't on the gas, it went dead. And you had to pull start it. And I, I don't know, I just couldn't get it. I couldn't start it. So anytime it went dead, my brother had to start it. And it went faster with only one person in it. So we would take turns driving to the, the dead-end cove on our street, turning around, coming back, the other person would drive it. Well, every time I would drive it, I'd get to the cove, go to turn that cove, let off the gas, it'd go dead. And my brother would hear it go dead, and then me yelling, Bubba! And he'd have to walk all the way to the cove, and then ride back while it was still my turn, and then take his turn, and then repeat. So anyway, that's how it went most days. Well, one day, we were riding together down to the cove, and this guy was putting in a house in the cove, so they had taken out the trees because it was woods all at the end of the cove then. But they had taken out the trees to make a driveway. Well, you know, it was just a big drop-off in the yard because they hadn't leveled anything out to actually make the driveway. So it was just like street, big dip, yard. Well, my brother was crazy I guess I don't know we get to the cove and he just yanks the steering wheel to the left we shoot off the the cove hit the yard boom, boom, boom. it goes dead and it won't crank we had to push it up that big steep hill get it back on the road level and figure and then figure something out and then finally it crank I don't know what he was thinking I don't know how the go-kart survived that one, but obviously we didn't need a go-kart in our lives. So, yeah. I don't, I don't think that was the story I was going to tell. But now I can't remember. I need to write these down. That's what I need to do. But I never do. I'm just sitting here like, oh, I'll remember, and then I don't. But I don't think that was the story I was going to tell. I thought it had to do with the bitten. Ah, anyway, maybe I'll think of it tomorrow. But there you go. There's two new stories. One a bet that, you know, let me know. How do you think? Like I said, I paid it. It's all good. But just you know, let me know your opinion on that. And don't forget to like, comment, and share. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll catch y'all tomorrow. Bye.